Hey everybody, I just want to preface this video by saying none of what I'm about to say is me complaining about anything. I'm completely fine with where my life and my career is. It's all okay. It's just me reflecting on some choices that I made. You know, I'm not, I don't feel bad about anything. So when I first started Little Joel, I guess it's like eight months ago now, it was doing so, so well that I legitimately thought there was a chance that it would actually overtake Big Joel and that this would just be what I'm known for, that that would just be my thing. As it turned out, this could not be farther from the truth. Subscribers on Little Joel have essentially stagnated. In the last 28 days, I've gotten 1.4 thousand subs, which is not very much. I mean, it's still a number, but it's not, it's, not a, it's not a very big number. It doesn't represent like a growing big channel. And Big Joel, on the other hand, uh, continues to do fine, continues just churning along. Uh, it does much, much better than Little Joel, even when I haven't released videos in quite a while. I really wanna say to any prospective creators in my audience that I believe very strongly at this point, that quality is much more important than quantity. Quantity is great. Quantity is great if you wanna make money. Quantity is great if you enjoy making a lot of videos, as I do. I really just like turning on a camera. I really like uh, just saying random bullshit, so I like quantity. Uh, but if you really wanna do well on the platform, this vision from like the 2010s or whatever, that what you're really supposed to do on YouTube is keep to a regular schedule and that's what's gonna make you do well, I just don't think it's true anymore, if it ever was. Uh, and that makes me happy, to be clear. I'm fine with little Joel stagnating. I'm fine with it not having uh, a million subscribers. That seems like a reasonable thing to me. When I thought that it was going to surpass Big Joel, it actually kind of disquieted me a little bit. I was like, oh my god, I guess, I guess me writing stuff just doesn't matter. Uh, but it does matter. It matters quite a lot. In fact, in the period where I started writing more considered videos for Little Joel, they consistently did just like way better. Even the increase in quality on Little Joel had a direct effect on how many people were watching and where the videos went. Now, I'm not going to keep putting that kind of work into Little Joel. I think that I made the decision that this is not where my priority is. It's just me shitposting. It's just me talking. But it's important to know. If you're a creator, especially a creator, who wants to write things, who wants to have opinions on stuff, um, I, think it, I think it pays off to primarily focus on how good the thing you do is. Uh, don't worry too much about releasing every three seconds. Audiences don't care at all. In fact, they prefer not to have their lives clogged by your opinions. Thank you.